Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here at Baxter Cycle and the Mighty Minicropolis of Marnie, Iowa. And check this out, huh? I've wanted to ride one of these for very long. This is a Janus Halcyon 250. Yeah. It's a 2018 model. They just got it in on a trade. I have uh, haven't actually rode it. I did have it running a bit ago. Kind of an interesting thing. I think I think this is called an Earl's Fork. Little itty bitty tires. It's got a rigid rear end, so the whole suspension is right back there. It seems to be in very good shape. The tanks on these, I think, are aluminum. There's the old air box right there. Not sure what this is. I think that's the battery under there. Starter, it's got both a kick and a uh, starter. It's got the, I don't know where the engines come from. I'm gonna guess China, but it's it's a old Honda. It's a copy of an old Honda 250. Really a neat thing. I like, I like, it's very interesting to look at, you know? Just check it all out. Old taillight on there with the word stop on there and you know, just these nifty bags and this new rack. Look at the fenders, all kinds of neat stuff. Shifter, of course. And of course this front end, I, I, like I said, I've never driven, I've driven this front end on sidecars, but never uh, anything like this. It says it has 1,645 miles on it. Neat bars, they've got little rocks risers, bring the bars up a little bit, whoever had it before. Barrel grips on there, kind of worn, so somebody was using this. Clutched, of course. Very interesting machine. I don't know what it weighs. I think they're made in Ohio or Indiana, someplace like that. Check out that muffler. It's got a disc brake on the back. Look at the little tiny dime size hole on the back of the muffler. Just a really nifty thing. Single piston caliper. Tripping up here to the front. Spoke wheels, of course. Bigger disc on the front. Dual piston caliper on this one. Janus American Motorcycles, it says on the wheels. I wonder if those are aluminum or metal. All the uh, metal work is metal. All the uh, like fenders and all these things are metal. A lot of metal on there. Like I said, this is a 2018. Oh, look at this. Turkey foot, maybe. I don't know, is that uh, what state that is? Minnesota, maybe? Really a nifty thing. Braided lines? Yeah, they are braided. Yellow headlight, you can turn it, it's got an on-off switch for the headlight, amazingly. Blinkers. It's uh, carbureted, so it's a carburetor. So you do have to turn the fuel on and off. I've got it on already. Uh, I think the coil must be in here. Here's the plug wire, so it does have a horn. Lots of neat little detail work, you know. Check out that master cylinder. Chain drive, of course. No cush drive on the back, it looks like. Wow. Look at the uh, adjusters for the chain there. This is like they said, I think, I don't know if I pointed to those, but this is the whole rear suspension right there. A guy like me will uh, probably eat up two thirds of that suspension just sitting on the bike. You know what? I think it's time. I think it's time that I take that thing for a ride, huh? What do y'all think of this? Do you all, you ever rode one of these? Have you ever seen one of these? What do y'all think of one of these? Let me know in the comments below. I'm about to go find out what they ride like. We're gonna go find out what they ride like. Why? I wanna kickstart it. So I'm gonna do what we can to make that happen. Let's see, very, very light bike. I don't know what they weigh. Key is on. Let's see, am I in neutral? It appears so. So there's an oil light, a blinker light, a high low beam light, and neutral light right there. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's try it again. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. All right. Boy, this is gonna make some noise in the old exhaust pipe alley, huh? I don't know if the transmission is a uh, four speed or a five speed. Very small foot pegs. Here we are in exhaust pipe alley. I like it. Motorcycles everywhere today, huh? Very wide bars, actually. Let's do the spin test right here. Oh, we've got a truck moving here. Well, let's uh, get out of his way. <laughs> I still want to do the spin, so. Good clutch feel. Very light clutch, of course. 
I don't know what this would have for horsepower. Let's say 10 to 12 maybe is the 250. Oh yes. Excellent paint, by the way. Got a good sound. I'm really impressed with that. I don't know anything about the specs on this bike. Like I said, it just came in. They said, hey, this is out there. Take, take it for a ride if you want, and they did. Nifty, nifty machine. A very interesting feel. A very different than anything else you might have ever ridden in your life. Check that out. Incredibly light. Let's do our uh, figure eight right here. Look at this. You got to give it a little gas. Keep the engine going. Wow, look at that. Very tight turn. Very tight. Second gear. Third gear. Fourth gear. It does have five gears. I'll be a whopping five gears. Amazing. Up over yonder is Bigfoot Hill. And if y'all can see those Bigfoot right over the uh, house over there, there's three of them. What a machine. What a machine. I don't think we have to worry about the front wheel coming off the ground. It is fun to ride around. This would be a, a great drive around Friday night bike, you know, or something like that around the neighborhood, or maybe even a campground bike. Welcome to fabulous South Marnie. It's actually pretty smooth till you get the R's up. You know, there is a little vibration, but uh, I'd say very little, much less than I thought there would be. Now these folks here are gonna be moving some mo motorcycles around, so we're gonna, we're gonna do our turn a little early. They're getting ready for, uh, Baxter Cycle has a big motorcycle auction, August 24th this year. And then they have Baxter Days on August 9th and 10th. On Baxter Days, you can test ride. Royal Infill is going to be here with all kinds of motorcycles for test riding. Over yonder are those Bigfoot. So this has disc brakes front and rear. You know what? I think I have to take this on the highway. <laughs> we do have mirror, a mirror. Uh, I did not check the fuel, but we're going to find out. Let's go make some noise. Let's go make some noise. Two. Three. Hot dang. I don't know what to think about this. You can feel the vibes in the hand. Your feet really don't have much vibration, very slight amount. And the seat is pretty darn comfortable, even for a big guy like me. Let's see, we're going about uh, 50 miles an hour. Got it wide open. And she's picking up speed. Okay, let's turn this hot rod around. Handling is certainly good. It's incredibly light. <laughs> it's a powerhouse, I tell you. Truly interesting. Truly interesting. Like I said, I've wanted to ride one of these for quite some time. You know, it's got the rigid suspension, but it took those bumps pretty well. You could feel it in the bike, but the seat took care of the uh, passenger, meaning me. Oh, wow, 55 miles an hour. Not too darn bad. Not too darn bad. Welcome to the mighty mini-tropolis of Marnie, Iowa, home of Baxter Cycle, seller of new and used Royal Enfields, Triumphs, classic British bikes of any type, and Janus now, at least while this one lasts. Parts, thingamajigs, doodads, gear of all types. Get yourself over here and check out what they got. Or go to BaxterCycle.com. Tell those fine folks, Fuzzy Biker sent ya. What a fun bike. What a fun little bike. We have got to do the hill spin test. Yeah, there's a car coming. We'll see if we can beat it. Okay, she does go in and out of gear pretty good. Let's get out of the way here. Next time you all are in the mighty mini tropolis of Marnie, Iowa, make sure you uh, 
get yourself over here to the derailed grill. Try their Wahoo Burger. <laughs> I know that fellow. I think he was going to stop and talk, but uh, I like the sound. You know what? Let's uh, take a peek in the old looking glass here and see what we got. It sits very low to the ground. It's a very narrow machine. Okay, there it is. Look at that fuel tank. I'm flat footing for sure. I'm actually standing over the bike. Lots of metal work there. Incredibly interesting. It looks like a, it definitely looks like a vintage motorcycle. The bars are tall, but they do have risers on them. That front end is very interesting looking. This would give a lot of a, get a lot of attention. That whole back end looks vintage for sure. Same with the seat. You know, everything looks vintage but the engine, I'd say. And even that's not bad at all. Me gusta, me gusta mucho. Nice bike, nice bike indeed. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's a very different than what I was expecting from any motorcycle. I'd say it's a very light motorcycle and, and low powered. But it's got some very interesting characteristics, mainly it's handling and it's sound. I am surprised it has a five speed, that, that's a nice touch there. The brakes work very well I'd say by the way. You know the bike's so light and it does have disc brakes. Pickup isn't bad. There's Motorcycle Park. <laughs> It did not spin the tire. <laughs> I didn't think it would. I didn't think it would. Let's do one more lap around town. How's that sound? Let's do a big circle right here just for the heck of it. It does handle this. It does this very well, by the way. I mean, it just... It's low speed, tight handling characteristics are awesome. Very good. The clutch is different, but has good feel. Um, not like any other clutch I've ever used, I'd say, but uh, still very good. The motor certainly is consistent. It is a predictable bike. So it is low power and uh, small and lightweight, but it's very predictable. Everything, it does what you think it should do without any surprises so far. Very, you know, uh, Look up their company online. I'm not sure what their website is, but uh, check them out online. They make, uh, this is a 250, I think they make a 450 also. And they used to make a 50cc bike. <laughs> Can y'all hear that? I'll open my helmet up, maybe that'll help. It's a very interesting thing. That's probably the one big word to describe it, an interesting motorcycle with some interesting detail. You know, everything is, uh, what a bike, what a bike. All right, my friends, well, if y'all are interested in a newer used Royal Enfield Triumph Classic British bike of any type, need parts, thingamajigs, doodads, gizmos, gloves, jackets, socks and underwear, heck, even that. Get yourself over here to Baxter Cycle in the mighty mini-tropolis of Marnie, Iowa. Or go to BaxterCycle.com, tell these fine folks that Fuzzy Biker, that's me, sent you. Now it's a beautiful day out here. I'm going to hop on a motorcycle and go for a wonderful ride. Y'all do the same if you can. Life is good. Wahoo! Yippee-yay-yay! Yippee-yay-yo! Down the road we go! Beautiful, beautiful machine. Hot dang.